Like in fifth place of a 14 division. Some bull crap like that. <laughs> this is SSU TV. My name is Abraham Deweese. With me is Matthew Page, Ian Loney, and we're talking Mariners baseball. All right, so I've been having a problem with the Mariners as far as runners and scoring position. Mm -hmm. They're not getting the job done. No, they're not. not uh, in fact, they've never they haven't been getting the job done for years. But this year, I was hoping things would be a little bit different. But clearly, it's just not. Um, Obviously, the biggest disapp disappointment is Robinson Cano. Yeah. Uh, what are we painting? He's only hitting two fifty, I think. Somewhere around there, yeah, and he's not hitting for power. Okay, so what are we paying him? A lot. Twenty six million. Tw it's 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 two hundred twenty something million, right? No, it's no. two hundred and sixty two over... million over ten years. Yes. Okay, so that's twenty six million dollars a year to get what? I'm looking at the stats right now. Okay. To get sixteen RBI. Two fifty one batting average. Yeah. Okay. In forty nine fifty almost fifty games. We're almost at fifty games, and this is all he's able to pull. Yeah, out. he's not even slugging four hundred. <sighs> Yeah. He's not even hitting well for a second baseman, let's right, be honest. Right. I mean, you know, there is the low, lower standards required to play a second base offensively, mm -hmm. and he's not even hitting that mark. Now, he's the biggest lightning rod for criticism, and I understand that because he makes more than a lot of, you know, a lot of teams combined. Mm -hmm. Now, I think there's also justifiable criticism for a lot of the other players, too. Uh, particularly Mike Zanino. I mean, he's hitting like a pitcher with some power. <laughs> <laughs> um, he, uh, and he, an American League pitcher yes, with that, not yes. a National League pitcher. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when he does get one, I think he closes his eyes and swings, and occasionally he does hit one and hits it a long way. So but, what you're saying is he's Clayton Kershaw at bat. Yes. <laughs> it was seven. Okay. So um, Mike Zinni has seven dingers, 15 RBI. That means he's mostly hitting solo shots, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah, well, that's a that's, bummer. That's a problem for when, a lot of them. Seth when he Smith's comes up with guys on base, he usually strikes out. Yes. So his the problem is we don't have backups either. His backup is now a guy named Wellington Castillo, uh, who is a replacement for Jesus Sucre, who wasn't getting the job done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not uh, at all. And I don't feel like Lloyd yep. McClendon has any faith in these guys. The backups, that is. Well, you never really have a lot of faith in your backup catcher. I mean, he's, <laughs> he's, he's a guy that's there because he has to be. Um, um, They're not thing, all, yeah. Zunino makes up for a lot of bad hitting with his extremely good defense and his pitch ability, framing. his pitch framing, his ability to call a good game, his his ability to block balls. He does it all really well. And so no, defensively, it, he's a world class yeah, catcher. He, so really he makes is. up that and a catcher that can go good defense can go a really long way. Oh yeah, Matt. There's been injuries uh, recently. Paxton just got an injury. He's going to be. Out. He's going to be out out here up to a month. Yeah, that's what some of the reports are saying. And and the, the sad part is is there isn't really a good replacement. Uh, we, we've been hearing uh, Mike Montgomery might be the man called up. Who, who's Mike Montgomery? Mike never Montgomery is not the guy you want to come up. <laughs> Let me put it that way. He's a 4A scrub. He's, he's a 4A scrub. scrub. He's a, well, not, you know, scrub per se. But, yeah, he's he is a 4A ball player. He, he's, he spent his time as a journeyman. Let me guess. He's not not even your win over replacement level guy. No, he's about replacement level. He is he's replacement, is replacement level. level. Yeah, he's, he's the Willie Bloomquist of pitching. Yeah, <laughs> he is the Willie Bloomquist. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Oh, yeah. I wish you guys hadn't told me that. Uh, now, I noticed that you mentioned Matt that there isn't much in the way of a replacement for Paxton. So you're not very high on Iwakuma coming back. Yeah. Last week we heard that he had a setback. Uh, you well, know, it's actually it's... actually no, because I, I was just reading he has actually resumed the throwing program okay. this week. So Finally. good. So he's on the track to coming back. If there are no other setbacks, he could be back within a two three weeks. Two three um, weeks. Yeah. I wouldn't rush. In him. the meantime, you need him in the meantime, on the stretch. In the meantime, the replacement has actually been pitching pretty well, Elias. But he was the depth in the pitching. Well, Elias and... should have had a spot to start mm -hmm. this season. He earned it. Mm -hmm. I like the way Matt says. His name. Elias. His first name. Roynus. Roynus. Right, right, right. <laughs> we got him. We got him. Yeah, oh, Roynus. Elias. Rowenis Elias. There we go. <laughs> there now. Say it, say, it, say it five times fast. Uh, no. Okay. Not going to. <laughs> I don't think I need to because, like, you, I, I think he's a solid pitcher. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, 
I'm not certain though who's behind him in the minor leagues. You brought up this Montgomery guy I never heard of. Mm-hmm. He's in AAA right now. He's 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 doing all right. He's nothing too flashy. He can fill. He can do a couple spot starts. But we need Iwakuma back. But on the other hand, we don't want to rush Kuma. Right. We want. We actually want real Iwakuma back. We don't want what we had the first few starts of this yeah. year. We want last and year Iwakuma. We want last year and the year before. Clear. Yeah. So I told you guys I'm not a big fan of Lloyd McClendon. I don't uh, and I feel like I'm justified not liking him in the way that he's dealing with this outfield. He has Cruz playing defensively in the outfield at right field and he also has uh, just a rotation, a litany of mediocre defenders in left field as well. I am really happy that Nelson Cruz is on this team. I think that he should never be playing <laughs> in the outfield ever. Never. Uh, maybe, maybe DH or first there base. Are, there are five options to play outfield that are better defensively than National Nelson Cruz on this team. Um, is it six if you include Bloomquist? Actually, Brad Miller, who's only played like four games okay, there. Yeah. Well, you could, you could actually call it nine if you include the three of us, too. We're all better than Cruz. Oh, man. Yeah, the, the number of, of singles that have dropped in right field this season alone mm-hmm. that I've been watching and going, dude, Seth Smith or Reggiano would have mm-hmm. totally ha- That would be an out. Yeah. Wait, well, who, Reggiano's not... on this team? Who's Appar- Reggiano? Yeah, apparently. Apparently, on the team. Team. apparently we have a fielder named Justin Reggiano. He has a whopping 63 at-bats. 63 at-bats, and Mr. McClendon hates his guts, and supposedly, in, in his career, apparently he has hit the crap out of lefties, but whenever a lefty pitcher is going, Nelson Cruz is out in right field. So, this is my other problem, this is my other problem with McClendon, too. He is so beholden to these stat splits that people don't get a chance to show what they can do against a righty versus a righty or a lefty versus a mm-hmm. lefty. I, it, we're, we're stuck with Ruggiano on the bench because he doesn't supposedly hit well against, you know. Tough. The, I mean, you, you what you should do is you should put, if you don't have... Like for example, when Jackson was out, you're you're losing big defense in center field. You you want to have that defense. There's a point where you want to just say, you know what, offensively, we're great. But defense, if we can't we can't do it offensively, put the best defending outfield out there, mm-hmm. especially on pitchers like Taiwan Absolutely. Walker who is having trouble. Absolutely. I think I agree with that, especially with a pitcher that's struggling. You're right. And I saw one game. This really made me sick. Was you had Miller in left, you had Ackley in center, and Cruz in right. You just decided defense is not important. We don't need it. Yeah. Ackley can kind of cover center field. I mean, it's what he did in college. He can give a guy a day off once in a while, but you do not want to be putting him regularly out. No, and, it's yeah. be- and if you do, you want to have good guys on both sides of him to cover the lack of range that you're going to yeah. get. Because Dustin Ackley is definitely not healthy Franklin Gutierrez. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. Uh, are there are there any options that the Mariners have in the minors or trade bait that they have in the minors that they can go get? Unfortunately, they traded to fixed center field, and that hasn't worked out too well last year. And With the Austin Jackson, uh, Austin Jackson trade? Yeah. thing. I mean, who'd, who'd his lose? defense is adequate out there. Nick Franklin. Nick Franklin. Well, that's not, we didn't big, need that's him. not a big loss. We didn't need him. That was a good deal. Yeah. In, fact, in fact, we can thank him for the recent... Uh, for the recent game he handed to us when he booted the ball. Oh, yes. Yes. He recently uh, gave us an error win. <laughs> Thank you, Nick Franklin. We, we love enjoyed that. Seekers, uh, we love yeah. you. Thank you for doing that to us. <laughs> <laughs> are, are there some positives we can gleam out of these last uh, 50 games? Um, that it's not worse than it has been, given that they have not looked like a good team so far, and there's many guys playing well below what I think that they're capable and will probably play with down the stretch. Um, the fact that they've managed to hover in the 500 neighborhood this long is thankful, I think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not completely awful. And and that most the fact that most of the division also stinks, with the exception of the Astros, who I strongly suspect will come back to Earth some, at least. They'll regress a little bit. Yeah, they're going to regress a little bit. A little bit. But, but I mean, they are for real. Yeah, they are for real, I, but they're also very young. Well, I feel like, and I feel like the Angels, and the, fade a little the angels mm-hmm. and the Rangers are paper tigers. 
That's my opinion. I don't know about the Rangers. They've seemed to cobble together a pitching rotation lately, and they've uh, and their the pinch fielder has woken up in the last two to three weeks. Mm-hmm. And Shin Su Chu had an awesome May. I mean, they're finally putting their troubles behind them. They might actually develop into some competition for Well, this us. Josh Hamilton thing's amazing. Well, yeah, then they have Josh Hamilton joining their team, too. Now he's a superstar again. All he had to do is leave L.A. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or, I'm sorry, Anaheim. No, or, or Orange County? Was it the Los the Angeles? San Lu- the San Luis Obispo. The Los Angeles, San Luis Obispo, Angels, Angels of Orange County and Oxnard? <laughs> I don't know. Oxnard's a funny word. <laughs> <Santa> <laughs> Anna, <yes. laughs> uh, what are we looking at, though? Are we looking at 500 for the rest of the year, Matt? I think I think what, what we're gonna we're gonna see some more youngsters come up because what very quickly here we're gonna have to we're gonna hit the make or break point and Jack Z is gonna have to make some very tough decisions he's gonna have to cut Ricky Weeks he's gonna have to decide what to do with Mike Zunino mm-hmm. he's gonna he's gonna have to sit McClendon down and tell him to play Reggiano. Mm-hmm. And he's going to have to also get rid of Billy Bloomquist at some point. Yes. Um, what about possibilities of call-ups? Like, I mean, well, there, there's a bit of a logjam at first base right now. We have DJ Peterson. We have Jesus Montero, both hitting pretty well. Well, if you're Kuma. not going to put uh, Nelson Cruz in right field, then you've got a you've got a DH spot open. <laughs> <laughs> for Montero. For Montero, what I think about, should get the first shot. What, what about uh, nothing DJ, else? DJ to, Peterson can't play another position. DJ Peterson originally played uh, first, and third, he played DH, base. and he played third, and he's played outfield. So he can. He's right now. He's playing first. Okay. Well, he's not going to play third. We are. We yeah, he's here. Lomo's eventual I, replacement. I am confident in saying that our team is quite solid at third base at this point. <laughs> oh yeah, we have no problem with third. <laughs> is there anything else blatantly obvious you'd like to tell us? <laughs> The sky is blue as well. Um, glove wise, we're good at catcher. Yeah, glove wise. Yeah. It would be great though, like if we could. Felix get... is awesome. Felix, yes. Felix. So, so my thought is, you know, if we could get some other hitters, you can ex- you can accept port hitting at the catcher and shortstop position, but other left field has to produce. It has to. Left field and, frankly, right field, and we set it up that way, and... I mean that was the whole the whole week's Ackley platoon idea. That was the whole Seth Smith, who actually has been hitting quite well, and and Ruggiano platoon idea. Um, but McClendon has decided that he doesn't like that layout. So you know, looping back looping back to the original point of this conversation, second base has to produce. Second, Second base, base definitely has to produce. Yes, mm-hmm. uh, you can't just have the gaping hole. Well, it, it, you have the gaping hole of left field. You have the gaping hole at shortstop. Offensively, you have catcher, obviously, um, mediocre first baseman, and Cano at second base playing mediocre. I have every suspicion that the second base issue is going. The Cano issue is going to resolve itself. It'll self correct. He's had stretches this bad yeah. in his career, and he's gone. He's on a veteran. Yeah, he, he knows how to put it together. I guarantee you, at the end of the year, he's going to be hitting two ninety with fifteen ish home runs. Thereabouts. Yeah, and it's it, it it's going to be a non issue. You guys were talking about uh, you know the Houston Astros uh, slowing down and kind of you know adjusting to the mean. Matt, what do you think about Nelson Cruz slowing down? He's got to stop at some point, isn't he? On pace for like seventy dingers right now. I mean, the dude, the dude's on fire. If he is back on the steroids, uh, stay keep on doing him. it. Please um, stay on him. If you're yeah. not, do let me have some of those. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Uh, it's Black incredible. Seed oil. It's incredible. Uh, by, by today's baseball standards, it looks like he's actually playing in the show. I mean, the, yeah, he's, video he's oh, the video. Yes. He's putting up video game stats. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have eight. I have eighteen home runs. 335 batting average, you know, uh, the guy is just... OPS is over. He's going to regress a bit. He's going to have to. I mean, no one's going to... I don't see him doing that. I see Mm -hmm. him hitting 40. I see him hitting 300 to 310. There's going to be a dead period. I think think he will hit it. He will hit some slow... uh, And hopefully the rest of the team besides Seager, who's been actually just fine, uh, hopefully the Canoes and the Ackleys and the Smiths and all those guys kind of pick up the slack. Seager's but, doing what Seager always does. In fact, yeah. he's a little bit ahead his on power home runs. Up a his power bit, numbers yeah. are up. Uh, but, you know, he's playing solid, gold glovish type defense mm-hmm. and putting up a solid batting average, getting on base, 
not striking out. That's the big thing I love about Seager. Guy does not strike out. No, he puts the ball in play. Yeah, and, he does. Yeah, he works the count. He does. Yeah, he's consistent. He is very consistent, and mm-hmm. that's what I love about him. Mm-hmm. Do we have any other outfielders, Matt, that we can bring up? Is there anybody? Well, um, I'm looking right now at uh, Franklin Gutierrez's statistics in uh, AAA, and they're doing pretty pretty dang good. Yeah, he's actually looking quite healthy and back to his old self. Almost, yeah, if he, so. if he can stay healthy for maybe another let me couple name, weeks, let me bring name, him up. Yeah. Let me name off some names. We're just going to do – we only got a couple minutes left. Okay. I, I just want to get a couple names out there and get your guys' thumbs up or thumbs down for getting off this team or staying on this team. Okay. Ricky Weeks. Gone. Down. That's that's cut three. him right now. Yeah. Got him. They Got shouldn't him. have yeah. signed him to begin with. Place, yep. Wow, in stereo. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Dustin Ackley. Uh, yeah, it's, I'm done. It's, it's time to cut. Yeah, I'm tired okay. of the team. Demote him to AAA and put him aside as a. I hope I, he does well in AAA. And I don't use him think, as a trade chip I don't at think the deadline. He, I don't think he is the. Um, he's been on too long to be able to demote. I don't think he has any options left. He has no okay, options. He does already arbitration. Put him on the bench and see what if, any, if, you, if he has any trade value. Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you guys think of Austin Jackson? I think his track record is such, and the fact that we don't have anything else to put out in center field is, is a situation where we kind of have to keep him around for now. The best of a bad yeah, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't even put Goody out. And so I wouldn't want to risk him. I'd put yeah. him in left if yeah, I brought him, him up. I'd put him in left right uh, now. Would you, yeah. would you replace Gutierrez? Uh, would you replace uh, Austin Jackson with Gutierrez? No, at this point, I would expect uh, I'd expect Gutierrez to to take left, and I would just I would just uh, take what whatever Jackson. Well, can get last us. last guy on my list, Fernando Rodney. What do you guys? <laughs> Demote him to the low leverage situation. Carson guy Smith our, should be closing. Carson Smith. All right. Well, Absolutely. good discussion, guys. Um, we will be back with another episode here pretty soon. And I'm, my name is Abraham Deweese. We have Ian Loney, Matthew Page for SSU TV.